Welcome back to Squawk. Uh, Want to talk markets right now. Our next guest says investors should have cash ready because he's expecting volatility in the first quarter of next year. Leo Kelly is the CEO of Verdant's Capital Advisors. Good morning to you. Good morning. You know, when people say cash, that means down. So you think we're moving down. Volatility, is, that's, a, that's a downward move you're suspecting is, is in the offing here. Well, I think cash today means something a little different, Andrew, because you're getting a rate of return on cash. I think if you go back a few years, you're right. There was no return. So the only reason to hold cash was that you think the market's going down, you want to buy back in. Um, we're actually neutral weighted on equity, meaning we are where we should be. Um, we are holding cash in lieu of long bonds. And as I said, the nice part about cash is you're right. We do expect volatility in the first quarter. And if the markets come back down off of what I think is a a bit of a speculative run here, you want to have cash on the sidelines to be able to take advantage of that. I, I, I do think we'll see that volatility in the first quarter. And you're taking advantage of it how? Meaning what, what, what are the things you'd be looking for? Are you, are you in the, I don't know if you heard Bobby Kotick, he actually slipped it in very delicately, he said he thought the recession, the recession was going to be here next year. If that's the case, are there certain defensive stocks you'd be buying? Yeah, we're, we're in that same camp. I think a recession is definitely a, a possibility next year and a reasonable possibility. The consumer has weakened. We have not gotten through all of this uh, commercial real estate challenges, and um, we're starting to see some signs in the labor market slowing a little bit. I, I think, Andrew, we got to take a step back here. And remember, the Fed wants to slow the economy down. They're trying to get inflation back in check and it's an uphill battle for them with all the capital that's been thrown into the system coming off of COVID. And so the Fed will get what they want. They will slow the economy down. So the idea that we're going to perfectly teeter on the edge of Goldilocks uh, might be a little optimistic. I do think um, right now we've had a nice run. It's been seasonal. The, traditionally, we get the Santa Claus rally at the end of the year. And the first quarter tends to tell the tale on what's really happening in the economy. So where do you go? I think you go back to the growth-oriented stocks. I think large-cap value looks great. Um, I think this, you know, this this spread between seven stocks and the rest of the market um, starts to correct. It has this uh, this month, and I think it does next year. I think we start to see new leadership next year. We want to invest in that. So you don't hold. So those. Here's the question, though, for everybody who's okay. sitting out there watching this, saying, I, "I'm an owner of the Magnificent Seven, and most right. of our viewers uh, own." at least some of them, is the, is, would you continue to hold or you're saying you want out? Well, no, what I'm saying is that what happens in times like this where the Magnificent Seven or back in the 1999, early 2000s, right, right, the hot tech stocks, what happens is they run and they run and they run and people hold on to these to these uh, securities um, like, you know, like they're right. solid gold. You have to trim, Andrew, bring your allocations back to neutral. Take some profits. It's okay to continue to hold right. them. They're great companies. They're great stories. Great. But you just can't let them run away and take on larger right. allocations than they should. You have to be disciplined Leo, always in portfolios. Uh, we want to thank you. We want to wish you happy holidays and look forward to a big new year ahead. I hope maybe there isn't. I hope you're a little wrong and maybe there isn't a recession, <laughs> but we will see. Thanks. Happy Joe. holidays.